Good evening, everyone. My name is Father Nick Meisel, and I have the opportunity to welcome each and every one of you here this evening to the St. Patrick's High School Open House. For the past several years, I've had the privilege of being chaplain at this wonderful high school. Each week, I get to visit with students in their classrooms, celebrate Mass on Friday, hear confessions, and accompany students as they go on retreat. And I think a special way of the Grade 12 Encounter Retreat, which is a real highlight and blessing that this school offers. As we begin our open house, I'd like to invite each and every one of us to turn to God in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving God, we thank you for gathering us here together this evening. We give thanks for our community of St. Patrick's High School, for the teachers, the staff, and students. We pray for all the families who are watching that they may be blessed. And we pray for each and every one of us that God may help us to follow Jesus' mission of love and service. We ask all this in Christ's name, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And St. Patrick, pray for us. And I wish each and every one of you a wonderful evening. God bless you. Thank you to our chaplain, Father Nick Meisel. Good evening, everyone. My name is Ralph Gabriel, and I'm the principal of St. Patrick Regional Secondary School. St. Patrick Regional Secondary acknowledges that the land on which we gather is the ancestral, traditional, and unceded territory of the Coast Salish peoples, including the territories of the Musqueam, Squamish, Stolo, and Tsleil-Waututh nations. I'm excited that you're here with us this evening for our first ever virtual open house. As much as I would prefer that you would be with us in person in our school building, my hope is that our presentation will provide you with many opportunities to learn about our school without over overloading you with details. Our virtual open house is designed to gain an insight into our beliefs, practices, the ultimate successes of our school and our learners. Thank you for taking the time to be here and share in the information that will affect the education and learning in the lives of your children and our future students. This evening, you'll have an opportunity to learn about our campus ministry, our academic, athletic, and extracurricular programs. To put your minds at ease, the online applications will be open at the conclusion of our presentation, and we will also have a live Q&A for any questions you may have. It is a pleasure and honor to be here promoting a community that is filled with love, commitment, tradition, and pride, and it is my hope that you will be able to take a piece of that home with you as you immerse yourself in Celtic life. At St. Patrick, we strive to create and build on the traditions of a community and a learning environment that promotes faith, friendship, and a sense of belonging. We are not just a school. We are a Catholic community of people from a wide variety of cultural backgrounds that welcomes, helps, challenges, and celebrates. Our school motto is Volans at Valens, which when translated means ready and willing. This is the perfect explanation for how our students view themselves in and outside of our school. Our hope is that you're able to make St. Patrick your home. We look forward to the opportunity to work with you and allow you to experience the faith and educational values that have made this school community what it is today. St. Pat's promotes high standards and expectations for all of our students and we are committed to academic excellence and the production of responsible citizens in and outside of our school. We're proud of our vibrant programs, exceptional staff, and very involved parents. Our goal is to continue to build on the legacy, traditions, and ideals that have been founded by current and past students, staff, and parents of this community. There is so much to celebrate and to be proud of when we talk about the care, compassion, and dedication that is visibly evident at St. Pat's. Our school has been commended for promoting and modeling a welcoming, caring, respectful, faith-based, and safe learning environment, ensuring that all students are at the center of learning. Our departments continue to be anchors to the school's program. Our teachers and staff work diligently to create course overviews and unit plans that integrate the language of big ideas, 
core competencies, curricular competencies, first people's principles of learning, and faith perspectives. This allows our school to support the learning, social, and emotional needs of our students. As we approach our centenary and our alumni continue to grow, I'm always amazed to see how many former students return home. Many of our graduates return to see siblings who are participating in extracurricular events. Others have continued their Celtic tradition by sending their children here. There are still those who simply stop by just to say hi and to let us know how they're doing and to remind us of what their school meant to them, how it was a vital part of their lives. Tonight, you'll have the opportunity to hear staff, parents and students, both current and former, share their stories of what being a Celtic meant to them. Our hope is that one day you'll be able to remember and celebrate the wonderful time that you have spent at St. Patrick and be able to proudly state, once a Celtic, always a Celtic. Once again, thank you for being with us this evening and I look forward to seeing you in person very, very soon. Thank you very much and God bless. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. My name is Maricel Ignacio, and I am one of the vice principals here at St. Pat's. Like many staff, and maybe even like your parents and relatives, I also happen to be Celtic alumna. We are everywhere. Our graduates are leaders in local, national, and international communities. They are business owners, healthcare workers, activists, politicians, chefs, athletes, artists, in fact, since St. Pat's is nearly a century old, you may not even realize how many Celtics you encounter daily. 
I once had to handle an insurance claim with someone who, as soon as she found out I worked at St. Pat's, promptly told me that she was from the class of 1978. And when I told her I was a fellow graduate, her eyes beamed. Once a Celtic, always a Celtic. No matter your personality or interest, St. Pat's is an extension of your family, ready and willing to support you and committed to helping you realize your hopes and dreams. This family exists even after you leave. Now, I won't tell you what year I graduated, but if you choose St. Pat's, you will find my photo along with so many other St. Pat's graduates hung up in our alumni gallery. And on your first day of grade eight, you can come into my office and poke fun at how old I am. You might also find one particularly famous graduate like the one coming up. This evening, we are honored to have an alumnus who enjoyed much success in his career while still a student and who now continues to shine after graduation. Mr. Finn Wolfhard attended a St. Pat's open house, just like you, except his was in person, and entered grade eight as an ambitious and curious boy with a shy demeanor, but huge personality. How lucky for the world that a Netflix director noticed these same traits and put him on film. He is most known for his role as Mike in Stranger Things, but he has been in countless movies and TV shows, including The 100, The Goldfinch, The Addams Family, and It, Chapters 1 and 2. He is currently at DePaul University in Chicago and continues to build his career in the entertainment industry, with many works still in production. We are so proud to have Finn speak to you today. He is a shining example of what hard work and dedication can get you in life. It is my honor and privilege to introduce to you Mr. Finn Wolfhard, Class of 2020. Hey, it's Finn Wolfhard. Um, I'm here making a video for St. Pat's Regional Secondary School. I graduated class of 2020 in June, and I'm really uh, excited to be here to talk to all you guys watching about this amazing school. Um, I went to ICS, which was uh, an independent Catholic school in Dunbar, Southlands. Um, and I went with uh, a friend, also a, uh, an alumni, Simon Claire, and then as well as um, Veronica Dvorak, who's also uh, ICS as well. And uh, for grade seven, I homeschooled, and I was pretty scared about going back to, to regular school because I didn't have a great time um, in elementary school. But uh, when I went to the open house, I immediately felt really at home with all the teachers. The teachers really felt like my friends and like took me seriously as a person. Um, and, uh, and so from then on, I really wanted to go to St. Pat's and then I got in and it was the best school experience anyone could ask for. The teachers are really inviting. Um, you could really talk to them about anything. Uh, over time, you'll meet a lot of like amazing people. Grade eight can always be a little rocky in the first few weeks, but you'll find your, your people pretty or like way more early on than you think because the school is pretty small and, and tight knit. And also if you want to be an artist, it's a pretty incredible place. And if you want to be an athlete, it's also a pretty incredible place because we have one of the best basketball teams in all of Vancouver and uh, the best choir and, you know, the best, some of the best like visual artists. So it's an amazing school to go to from anyone that wants to do anything. And for me, especially, you know, I was in a show uh, that was pretty popular and St. Pat's let me go and do that and gave me work to do when I was there. And then they let me come back. Um, and that's pretty incredible that they, they let me do all those things and um, they made it easy for me. So they're very pro following whatever you want to do in your dreams. And so I think uh, any kid that is watching this now, uh, should uh, should really consider St. Pat's because I loved it and I'll always love it. Yeah, so thanks so much for watching. Um, I really loved this school and uh, I hope uh, you will too. Good evening. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce myself and welcome you all to the St. Patrick Open House again. My name is Lance Herchavies. I'm one of our two vice principals here at the school. Um, 
specifically introducing myself tonight because of my role as Student Services Vice Principal and Vice Principal in charge of the Grade 8s and 9s. So I'm the person that you're going to talk to over the next two years when your student is in Grade 8 and 9, so if you have any questions about schedules or activities in Grade 8, I am the best person to talk to. Um, I'd like to take this opportunity also to introduce our next two wonderful speakers. We have a parent who's going to speak of them and their child's experience over the last few years at St. Patrick, Ms. Verna Brown. And then after that, we have a fantastic grade 12 student leader, Denzel Bonco, who is going to tell you about his time over the last five years as a Celtic. Again, welcome everyone, and thank you for coming to our open house. Thank you to the St. Pat's faculty for having me today, and welcome to the prospective new families. My family's journey at St. Pat's began when my daughter Maya arrived in grade 9. Maya is now in grade 12 and will be graduating in June. Joining a new school one year after the general intake, and especially when many of the students had been together since kindergarten at St. Pat's Elementary School, was cause for much nervousness for Maya on her first day. However, looking back, the first few words that come to mind as I look at her first few days at St. Pat's. Now, I say our first few days as opposed to her first few days because Maya's experience at St. Pat's has definitely been a family affair. So going back to the first few words that come to mind, welcoming, supportive, energetic, hopeful, full of promise. Now, in Maya's last remaining days at the school, the first few words that come to mind include family, whole child, balanced, prepared, and grateful. St. Pat's has served as Maya's pseudo board of directors over the years. They've worked collaboratively with me to ensure her academic, social, emotional, and spiritual development. They have exceeded my expectations with their support during challenging times and celebrating her achievements. The teen years can be turbulent ones, but rest assured that the faculty at St. Pat's have your child's best interest as their highest priority. Many of you know of the school's reputation for its high athletic achievements. Maya has played volleyball every year at St. Pat's since arriving in grade nine. However, in grade eight, she played for a rival school. While those matches were exciting to watch, it was the St. Pat's spectator attendance and intense spirit that stole the show. Small and mighty are the words that I would often hear when one describes our teams, and we are proud to don the Celtic colors. When I think of school, I naturally think of academics, but St. Pat's is so much more than that. Maya will leave this school rich with memories, friendships, and lessons that will follow her through her lifetime. While she will soon say goodbye, I have another daughter that will be arriving to the school in the fall. And her one word to describe her upcoming attendance is excitement. So, should you wish for St. Pat's to be the school for your child, May your family's experience be as rich and abundant as ours. I look forward to seeing you all in the fall. Good afternoon, parents, guardians, and hopefully future Celtics. Um, I'd like to welcome you once again to our first and hopefully last virtual open house for St. Patrick's Regional Secondary. My name is Denzel Bonco, and I'm currently acting as the school's deputy minister. And alongside this, I'm also completing my senior year here at this amazing school. I'm privileged and honored enough to be talking to you from the comforts of your own homes and give you a little snippet into what the Celtic life is about. I'll be talking about the opportunities I've been able to go through and the experiences I've had. Now, grade seven students, what do you think transitioning to high school is like? And parents, I want you to try to put yourselves into their shoes. If you think about it, grade sevens, you're going from being the leaders of your school all the way down to the newbies of a school with quadruple the number of people than you're usually used to. I know for myself personally, um, leading up to the first day of school, I felt a looming feeling of anxiousness and I also had a pressure to fit in. But I was amazed after the first week to realize that this school is super welcoming. From the hallways, you can see smiling faces, friendly staff and administration. 
and there's always a new opportunity to make a friend. This being a school of 500, we are a very tight-knit community where every student's excellence is celebrated. Now, there are a few ways for students here to strive for that excellence. Besides academics, our school is also best known for our athletics. Just last year, the grade 9 and 10 junior boys basketball team took home the provincial banner, winning in the finals. It's a great accomplishment. Besides athletics, we also offer clubs and activities for people of all interests and passions. For me personally, besides being a part of Anime Club, I also help run a faith nourishment group called Senior Peer Ministry, um, which tends to the faith of students from grades 11 to 12. Peer counseling, yearbook, robotics, the list goes on and on. Now for me personally, I was never one to push myself out of my shell or be as vocal as I am right now. But over the years, this school has helped me to be so. It has given me the skills which I will take to me with me into my future and also, also given me meaningful relationships that I will take with me for the rest of my life. And I believe that this school can do the same for you, parent or student. Now I can go on and on about how amazing this school is if I had more than the time I had right now. But this school is truly something to just be experienced. Thank you. St. Patrick Regional Secondary's flagship choral music activities program is widely regarded throughout Canada and the United States as one of the finest performance-based music education initiatives. Our senior ensembles are regularly invited to appear as choir in residence at festivals and conferences throughout North America and Europe and have performed in renowned concert halls, world UNESCO heritage sites, pilgrim sanctuaries including the Basilica of Fatima in Portugal, Sacré-Cœur in France, the Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts in Washington DC and Carnegie Hall. Our choirs study and have performed major works with professional orchestra musicians each year at the Chan Center for the Performing Arts, repertoire that span the centuries from every genre and in all styles, including Faure's celebrated Requiem Mass, Carmina Burana, and the music of Beethoven, Mozart, and Bach. Our students receive accredited music instruction each year in voice and music literacy, and also have the opportunity to receive certification from the Royal Conservatory of Music in all levels of music theory. Our students are instructed by Dr. Tony Erujo, a recipient of the Prime Minister's Award for Teaching Excellence and the Queen Elizabeth II Diamond Jubilee Medal. Our school welcomes visiting conductors and artists in residence to support the highest standards of choral music education. Journalist Rosemary Phillips, in attendance at a performance, described this work as compassion, caring, wisdom, and passionate vision for educating young artists with hope and gratitude. We are pleased to present our auditioned chamber choir at our open house this evening. They will perform a contemporary arrangement of Lux Aeterna in St. Patrick Church a beautiful space where we normally celebrate Mass as a school community each month.
Hello, my name is Eileen Servi and I am the Campus Nursery Coordinator here at St. Patrick's Regional Secondary School. Together with a team of dedicated teachers and students, we work to bring alive this campus ministry program here at St. Patrick's. When you enter St. Patrick's, you will see a plaque above the main entranceway that says, Jesus is the reason for our school. And that is the basis of our campus ministry program. Whether it's through retreats, liturgies and the sacramental program, through extracurriculars like Reverence for Life, or social justice, peer ministry, or the service component in our Christian education program. All students will be involved in campus ministry at St. Patrick's. It's not so much whether they'll be involved, it's how they'll be involved. And we work as a team to ensure the development of all our students' faith and spiritual growth. We want to be about forming Christian disciples so that when students leave St. Patrick's, they live their faith in their communities. We are hoping that if your children or you come to St. Patrick's next year, you will join us and be part of this amazing school. We want to thank you today for being part of our virtual open house, and we look forward to welcoming a new group of students in September of 2021. Thank you. Hi everyone and welcome especially to our grade 8 potential students that are coming to St. Pat's. This is such an exciting time for you guys. My name is Mrs. Renzullo, like Mrs. R, and most people call me Mrs. R. I'm so proud to be the athletic director here at St. Pat's. It's my 35th year here and I just want to tell you that I'm so, so proud of our program and our school, of course. Our athletes and coaches work so very hard in maintaining what I consider a dynasty of a program. Um, our school has a great reputation when it comes to sports teams. They are so hardworking and very, very fun to watch. Our gym is always packed and full of amazing spirit. This comes from our athletes, our dedicated coaches, and of course our community um, that we have here, which is like a family. I'd like to mention the sports that we offer here. In the fall, from September to December, we offer girls and boys volleyball. In the winter, from mid-December to mid-March, we offer girls basketball, boys basketball, and co-ed wrestling. And in the spring, from April to June, we offer girls soccer, co-ed badminton, and co-ed ultimate frisbee. Um, we get tremendous support with all of our programs here from our administration, Mr. Gabriel, Ms. Ignacio, and Mr. Hertubis, who support our student athletes in every way and really allow them to excel at every opportunity. Our senior girls volleyball team um, has traveled to Hawaii every two years over the past 35 years. Um, and they've you know, competed internationally and done very, very well and developed a real family. Um, also, our five teams last year made it to the BC Championships. Our grade eight girls volleyball team came home with a BC banner, which was amazing. And our junior boys basketball team also came home with a first place in the province. So we're very, very proud of those accomplishments and look forward to many, many more memories to come. So I look forward to meeting you all in person. Um, I hope you'll one day enjoy and experience the strong traditions that our St. Pat's Celtic community has made over the many, many years. And we always say here, once a Celtic, always a Celtic. So looking forward to meeting you all. Have a great day. Hello and welcome to St. Patrick's Regional Secondary Virtual Open House website. Here, you can find information about our school life and culture. If you want to find out about our community, under our community category, there's information about students and alumni, staff, and our neighbors and support. If you click under School Life tab, you can learn about our COVID-19 adoptions, the courses we offer, learning support we provide, and clubs that are made for you. Underneath programs in School Life, we have information about our high performance, international studies, integrated studies, and work experience. As for extracurricular activities, St. Patrick's provides athletics, choral music, play production, and a student council. If you have any questions, please visit our FAQ page where many questions have been answered and a contact form is provided. 
If you have any further questions, please navigate to our contact page. And here, you can find a variety of ways to contact our school. Special thanks go to the St. Patrick student volunteers who created this website to showcase their Celtic life at school. I hope you find this helpful. Thank you for your time. Before we end with a closing prayer, I have a few housekeeping notes to go over with you. I would like to thank our staff and students who have worked hard to provide you with this virtual open house to help you navigate around our school since you're unable to join us here at St. Patrick's for our traditional open house. Our students have created what we call a microsite, a virtual tour of what life is like here at St. Patrick Regional, which can be found on our school's website. Please click on the apply here button at the top right hand of the home screen to access the microsite, the online application and other items pertaining to our open house including the recording of this presentation for you to peruse in the future. We will be providing an opportunity for prospective students to come in and tour the physical school building. There are limited time slots available. You can sign up via the apply here button on our website under school tours. Please share tonight's information and our website information with any potential students and parents who couldn't make it here this evening. Our live Q&A with our department heads from Learning Support, Integrated Studies, and our Vice Principals, as well as myself, will take place after the prayer. Now please join me in closing prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. May the strength of God pilot us. May the wisdom of God instruct us. May the hand of God protect us. May the salvation, O Lord, be always ours this day and forevermore. Amen. St. Patrick, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I invite our Q&A panelists to join me now by turning on your cameras and microphones. Our Vice Principals, Ms. Ignacio and Mr. Herchibes, will be moderating the Q&A. Ms. Ignacio, take it away. <laughs>